Okay, y'all. So today I'm cooking garlic potatoes. I'm going to bake some pork steaks. And we're having some whole corn. I have my seasonings as usual. I have onion powder, garlic powder, seasonal, and parsley flakes. All right, y'all. Let's get into the video. I have my water burling. Well, getting rid of the burl for the potatoes. My oven on 380. And here's my pot for the corn. All right, y'all. So here's the pork steak. You get a big piece like this. What I usually do is cut it in half. Get rid of all of the fat. All of the fat on the side. Wash it real good. And I season it up. Once I do that, I put it in the oven. And I chop my onion. Which I didn't show y'all. So, that's what I'm getting ready to do. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay y'all. So I have my meat washed and cut. I cut a lot of the fat off. So this is what it's looking like. And now I'm ready to season. We're going to start with the seasonal. I'm just sprinkle it on the top. Onion powder. I go from top to bottom, side to side. That way it won't be salty. Flip it over. And start all over again with your seasonal. Garlic powder. Onion powder. And here's my parsley flakes. That's what it's looking like. I have a lined aluminum pan, and we're just going to lay them on in there. Sorry y'all can't see me, but I need both of my hands. Y'all know what I look like. She cute. <laughs> So I have them laid in my pan. I'm going to show y'all everything once I'm done. Because I have a few more to add. A few more pieces. So we're going to wash them on up. that water off of them and bring it on over for seasoning. Don't matter which one of the seasonings you start with, they all gonna end up on there. Let me move this over here. All Sorry for putting that in your way. Did it again. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the pan. Wash 
Some of y'all favorites don't never wash their hands. even though my nails are short. I'll take y'all over here and show y'all how it look. And this is what it's looking like. Pork steaks, seasoned with seasonal, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley flakes. All right, y'all, so I added some butter on top just for flavoring that's what we do out here in new orleans and i added water to the bottom of my pan so to keep it from drying out i'm gonna cover it with aluminum furl and i'm gonna throw it in the oven y'all y'all be be right, All right so i have the pork steaks covered and as you can see i poked two holes at the top so that the steam can come out and it's ready to go in the oven all right, y'all, I'm back with the potatoes. I have my red potatoes here, washed and cut up. Gotta wash those. And I got my water going. It was boiling, but I had to turn it down because I wasn't ready. But here's how I do the uh, garlic potatoes. I'ma boil them for a little bit. Then I'ma um, do the butter and the garlic seasoning and everything. And I'ma show y'all how I do that. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Here are all of my potatoes. I washed them. I cut them up into chunks. And uh, my water was boiling, but I had to turn it down, like I said, because I wasn't ready for it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some salt to the water. And that's going to make it boil faster. Here is my corn. This is two cans of corn. All I do is, I put a spoonful of butter salt and pepper give it a stir and that's it I don't add nothing else y'all right so here are the potatoes they have been broiled halfway because I'm going to put them in this uh, aluminum pan and I'm going to add some butter, garlic, salt, pepper, parsley flakes, onion powder, and garlic powder to these potatoes. So I started off with the butter. Here is the salt. Pepper. Make sure all your potatoes is covered. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Parsley flakes. That's some good old garlic garlic is very healthy for you so what we're gonna do I'm gonna stir that up Oops. working with one hand y'all we're gonna stir that up so I have a secret ingredient I have some ranch seasoning hidden valley that I'm gonna sprinkle on the top you don't have to it's just what I'm doing this time. All right. And that's how that's looking. We're going to throw that in the oven. Uncovered because you want your potatoes to brown. Uncovered, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I'm back with my onion that I'm going to put in on top of the uh, pork steak. So I'm going to cut this onion up. Put it right on top. I didn't put it in at the beginning because I didn't want it to burn. Sometimes the onion burn when you put it in there in the beginning. Okay, 
I like cooked onions with my meal. So this is a small onion. I have another bag of onions. They kind of big, but I'm just since it's just me and my husband that eats the onions. I'm gonna go ahead and use one. So here is our pork steaks. They're coming along. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm gonna show y'all what they're looking like. Oh, they looks good, huh? Just sprinkle that on the top. Cover it right back up. Put it right back in the oven. Next to our garlic potatoes. Seven uh, 48 everything should be done by 8 10 so I'm gonna come back with the finished product y'all stay tuned okay y'all here is the finished product here's the baked pork steaks garlic potatoes and the corn back there y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this meal.